Hello, you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beings. Well, I don't know. I really don't know. I was doing a live on YouTube and I've never done a live before, so it just kicked me off at 35 minutes or something. And I was chanting the ma and i was super getting into it guiding and just helping people activate their voices so i am not deterred i am deciding to record this and i'm gonna just add it to my youtube afterward um as like a part two so that we can just yeah get this out there you know i'm of the opinion that I'm not really in control right now of the things that I am guided to do. I have surrendered to a higher will. I have surrendered to a higher stream. And that means that there are uncomfortable things that I'm doing more and more, like putting my voice out there or guiding things when not many people show up. Um, and also knowing the power behind what I am doing and therefore not being deterred by those things, not having my worth be determined by who shows up, who wants to learn, who's ready for this, who's willing, who's willing to, to pay, who's willing to show up and learn and remember. And again, I'm guided by a higher stream. So things that I would prefer to be doing, there's a long list. Things that I am doing, channeling Mother Mary tonight. <laughs> Although that's, um, yeah, that's, that's so my vibe too, but I would rather do it with a camera off. I would rather do it just in my frequency and my space and maybe with my beautiful Syrian dog as as the audience she's like passed out having the most amazing time during the 35 minutes that I was doing that beginning part of this sound activation and introduction and helping us get into our voice so I just think uh, we got to sound the tuning forks again and just be in the frequency of our power, our I am. Our I am. I am presence. Our beautiful codes of our soul. Of our soul. Our soul our essence, the one that nobody can take, the one that nobody can claim, only source knows you, claims you, because you are that, you are source in an expression. And I trust, I trust that this is reaching those of you who are ready and willing and open-hearted to move with the ma, the mare, the maria. The mare, mari, mari. Mm, so let's go back to that mm sound. We're going to make the M sound in our throat. So we're not going to open our mouth and we're just going to hold it for as long as we can. The mm sound and vibration so just take a deep breath 
and breathe. Let's just do, sorry, let's just do three breaths. <laughs> I was like, yeah, not ready for that yet. Three breaths, so two more. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, let your head fall back this time. Bring it back up. Start to get that little rock in. I was uh, doing this on the YouTube video, like for some of you, the serpent or the sounds may want you to rock forward and back, forward and back, maybe even forward and back, and then your head is going forward and back on its own as well. So it's kind of like two different movements happening simultaneously. And for some of you, it's going to be just a sway side to side like this. Let your hips kind of pivot you. Or maybe you're trying to make like an S with your hips. So you're going to have to just listen to your body. What does she want? What does he want? Is it? Is there a serpent in your body that's like, got to move like this? Because that's what you have to listen to. Yes, we are in that frequency of the serpent, the serpent. It's like I have to whisper it because it's taboo. The serpent. Did you know that the Virgen de Guadalupe has got a serpent underneath her feet? I hope you're moving like a serpent. I hope you are listening to your body. Some of you need to open your wings. That means your shoulders, back, chest open, heart open. That's what the serpent wants you to do. Focus on open heart. Some of you are very grounded, very grounded, but your heart is closed. Your cold heart, cold dead heart. Let the serpent get in there. Let's bring the serpent up. Let's bring the serpent up, 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 up. With your awareness, with your intention, with your love, bring that serpent or serpents up. Into the heart. And I'm going to burn a little bit more sage for us so that now that we have that serpent energy hopefully circulating warming the heart dancing in that space keep rolling keep swaying keep serpentining as your heart desires as your soul desires but i just want to bring in the frequency of sage salvia salvia Salve, salve. Salve is both healing and it also inherently is connected to, it's either Greek or Latin, probably Latin, meaning to save, to save. So let us bring in this beautiful sage, sa, 
the serpent, sa, salve. A solve is also healing like a balm, a solve. So we're bringing this sal, salvia into the heart space so that some of you can be soothed and swayed by the serpent mama. And she says, I see your heart. It's not cold and dead. You just forgot the fire of the serpent. You just forgot the flames of Maria, of the sacred heart of Mother, Mother Mary, Mother Medium, Mariam, Mariamne. Did you know that Mary is a title, not just a name? It was a title. And so is Mare. Mare is a title, it means master. So it's no coincidence that you are here. You are a master already in some other realm. <laughs> Not to burst your bubble. Maybe, maybe you're a master here too. I mean, we kind of all, we all in our own ways are masters at something. But, you know, when we say a master, I think of someone who has it all figured out already. So, um, yeah, you're a master of some things, and I'm a master of some things. But in some other realm, you are a master in the sense that we think when we think of master, like Master Yeshua, Master Magdalene, Master Miriam, Mother Mary, and many, many other masters. But let's bring that frequency of mastery to the heart just for a moment. Even if it's just you kind of for a moment touching with your heart or reaching with your heart or receiving into the heart that remembrance of your mastery. The fact that you do have it all figured out somewhere. You have all the answers somewhere. And at the right moment, at the right time, those pieces come in to us. And they help us remember. And they help us heal. And they help us sing <laughs> and vibrate in our truth. So interestingly enough, um, I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm very, very like um, relaxed also. Like I think the rose, which it did this earlier, this is my second time of the day with this frequency of rose and really honoring the frequency of the 333 portal because um, I'm in preparation for the new moon that is arriving tomorrow, the new moon in Ophiuchus, so the serpent bearer, the serpent, the serpent, the alchemist. Um, just letting you know because I want you to understand that this is a frequency trans transmission, trans transgression, <laughs> transmission. I don't know. There's a weird weird words in my head. I'm getting loopy. Okay, let's focus transmission frequencies be here receive close your eyes if you fall asleep to this great great it's perfect it's divine i have all the crystals i have all the oils i have all the incense i have the sage i have the rose tea i have the rattle i have everything for you so just receive you know receive you did the ma work you opened now let me just kind of guide you with both my voice and sound and um, my inner knowing, my intuition that that La Virgen, the Virgin, not in the way that we understand Virgin, it's beyond that. It's like, it's like a title again. Let's just say it's like a title. 
the Virgen de Guadalupe, the connecting um, goddess of, yeah, the apparition of the frequency of the master, Miriam, Mary, Mariam, Mary, Mariamne, it depends what language, or Aramaic, Arabic, Hebrew. Um, when she decided to connect to indigenous Mexico and an indigenous man named Juan Diego, that's not his real name, but it's interesting. I read about his real name and he's got a really, really cool indigenous name, but you know, we know his name as Juan Diego because, because it's just ironic. But anyways, Mother Mary was the apparition that appeared on a hill and gave Juan Diego, not his real name, a miracle because she gave him roses in a time where there were no roses growing in this part or um, this time in Mexico. This is interesting because she appeared on a high point, literally the mount is called Tepeyac and she had not been um, completely absent from this part of Mexico or from connecting to the people. In fact, a lot of people say that the Virgen de Guadalupe was a frequency or um, not a myth exactly, but like a tale that eventually linked the indigenous to the Spanish colonial Catholicism that they hadn't been able to kind of link and connect the two before. The indigenous were still being indigenous. The Spanish were still there, invaded Mexico before, you know, before it was Mexico, but invaded those lands and were trying to create something there, but there was still a disconnect, like a rejection, like two separate pieces um and la virgen mary de guadalupe was the uniting energy she was like the bridge and many people indigenous people say she is a version of donansin donansin or cuatlique i believe is how it's pronounced and these are indigenous names in Mexico, in the lands of Mexico, different indigenous names for mother, mother earth, the mother frequency, the ma, the stream of the divine feminine that comes into the earth. So Mexican uh, indigenous peoples, they had this understanding and this knowing that those frequencies come into the earth and that's why their goddesses and their um, connections to the divine feminine often involved serpents there are serpents in um, almost all of the depictions of the goddesses that were found in the indigenous lands of what we now know as mexico so even the Virgen de Guadalupe is depicted with a serpent at her feet and she is not dominating or killing or smashing the serpent as many would like you to believe. She is standing atop the serpent with her foot, one foot, I believe. I have to look that up. It's like the serpent supports her. It's like the serpent is the earth connection because she came down from the high point, from the heavens, from the other realms, from Tepeyac, the high point, down onto the earth. And how do we know that she's connected to the earth as well? The symbol of the serpent. The symbol of the serpent. Earth serpent. Earth connection this planet, 
rooted here, as are we, as are you, as was Juan Diego, <laughs> not his real name. Ah, so the miracle of the roses. She gave him roses. She showed him roses. She asked him for a, a temple, most likely. The Spanish said church, cathedral, something like that. She asked for a place to be venerated by him, by everybody. So she could be that bridge between Spanish and indigenous. And the way that this indigenous person, Juan Diego, not his real name, got this uh, bishop to listen to him and build the church was by showing the miracle of the rose petals in a time where there were no roses, in a place where there were no roses. And it is said that the roses actually um, imprinted her image on his clothing, his cloth clothing, natural cloth clothing. There was an image that appeared on his clothing and that since then has never disappeared. We're talking about over 500 years and that cloth is still containing her image and it can be found in the Basilica, in the church in Mexico City. I've been there twice, both times. I didn't really know why I was there. Once I was a baby, uh, maybe two or four years old, probably two, I think. Second time I was uh, 19 and I was there with my university as a school excursion trip, cultural places they were taking us to. And what I didn't realize was that this was about my connection to Mother Mary. This was my connection to being the bridge as well, being the bridge between the Spanish and the indigenous, being the bridge between the American and the Mexican, being the bridge between the American or Mexican American who's also connected to the Middle East, to Egypt, to the Holy Land, you know, to all of this earth realm, actually, to everything that is terra, earth, red earth, um, root, land, earth. That's my realm. That's my power. That's my, my honor to show up as, as connected to that and to bring you in to your own connections to this realm, to bring you deeper and deeper into um, acceptance and love for this place that we get to call home right now. Gaia, Earth, Terra. So this is a stone called Andalusite. And it is a stone that helps us feel at home, holds the frequency of home. It's actually a really beautiful, deep brown color. And I'm holding it in my hands as I give this little sound transmission just to um, close out the energies. I feel like it was a little bit of frequency, storytelling, and just me showing up in my frequency. So thank you for being here. I'm going to channel Mother Mary. I am completely open to what wants to come through so just know that whatever is for you is for you i've already invoked her but i will invoke her once more i invoke mother medium in her highest aspect beautiful ascended master mother ma mare madre Ma, 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 ma.
frequencies and activations. Your presence. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gracias. beautiful mantle of Mother Mary, wherever you go from here, you are home. <laughs> 